Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, what I want to say is one, I am very sorry for being away for over a week. Uh, I think it has been probably more than that. I've been going for a very transformative period. Uh, let's just say shadow work. Uh, it's been very intense and um, yeah, it's been extremely intense. So if you're feeling this intensity at the moment, um, I've been struggling to do card readings. So I'm gonna do my absolute best to give you the most accurate reading today and we're just gonna get started so for this transformative period the first thing I actually got was transformation for April so April is gonna be a very transformative month all the things that have been setting in stone with March the mercury retrograde and everything like that that has it's been a tough month so everything is transforming at the moment and April is going to be the month where it's all going to come together this is what we're going to do we're going to do the April 2019 reading I have the cards out here I don't have crystals on them so we're gonna have two options for you guys we're just going to start off today with no crystals and then we're going to switch to crystals whichever you prefer so if you want to use your intuition and choose whichever cards you like we have group one group two, group three, and group four. If you would like to choose a group now, then please feel free to. And I will now put the crystals on and then we can see what they look like. So here we have the crystals. If you would like to choose, say group one, two, three, or four, let's get started and see what's coming in the month of April for you guys. So let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, thank you for being here. Also thank you for all the subscribers by the way, it's been absolutely amazing. Just all the support and all the comments and everything, it's just been absolutely overwhelming. So just wanted to say that, thank you for being here. So group number one, let's see what's going on for you. We have Amethyst, this gorgeous crystal, absolutely love it. This crystal, because it's like exposed outside and it's got the gorgeous inside, I'm thinking that you guys are feeling exposed. I'm thinking you're actually feeling exposed right now. I'm not sure if you're actually gonna be feeling that through April, I'm feeling more at the start of April. I mean, I'm feeling this on April 1st, so you could be feeling quite exposed. I'm feeling like, I'm actually feeling this energy as well. It's like this exposure of skin. When you pull back um, old skin, you have this new fresh skin. I feel like it's like that, but it's, this is all good. This is really, really good because this is like a new person is coming through, like as in a new, a new version of you is coming through and it's very, very positive. So just thought I'd let you know. So let's see what we have for group number one. So we've got make music, detoxification. Okay, 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 getting messages now. Moving forward fearlessly, rise above problems, and positive expectations. Wow, whoa, there's a lot of smooth movement, a lot of flow, there's a lot of flow. Um, as I say, I'm getting a lot of transformation. I'm getting like your um, channeling, your own energy and you're using that to your advantage so I'm getting like you are using your own qualities to your advantage so what I'm saying is with make music this is what is kind of coming up for me is the music that you always enjoyed as a child especially music that you really enjoy I feel like you're going to be listening to it a lot because I feel like it's going to help you through this transformational period um, I'm getting like listen to soothing music. Soothing music is going to be really good because you're in this phase of, as I said, exposure. And with this to detoxification, is I feel like, as I say, you're sh oh, this is it, right? You're shedding your old skin like a snake, and you are shedding your old skin. And you're coming into a new skin, and what you need to do is really. Uh, look after yourself and really make sure you're taking care of yourself as you would like a baby is what I'm getting um very soft kind gentle energy is what I'm feeling like you need to give yourself give yourself time because you are moving forward very good I actually forgot this covers here and I'm getting this like movement like really nice flowing energy um like water kind of going through like a fountain like I'm over like a cliff like a, a waterfall I'm getting the water is flowing like the energies are flowing the emotions are flowing I'm just getting like lumps of stuff coming up so I'm feeling like there's like lumps of energy um like negative energy that's coming up so negative emotions are coming up and it's just you gotta just kind of let it flow so don't try not to get stuck and don't push anything down because that is not what they're telling me they're telling me just to make sure that I'm getting this image of like so see I've got like the negative energy and the negative emotions in my hands right and there's like a flowing river and you just kind of want to just let it wash away and you're just kind of throwing it I can see you like throwing it into the water and you're just letting it flow and you're just kind of like make you're giving yourself permission to let go of the past and let go of things that have weighed you down and I'm talking like years I'm talking like 
12 to 20 years of crap that it just needs to go. So that is what I'm getting. April is really, really fresh, new spring energy. So it just feels, yeah, it just feels really fresh and lovely. Um, and expect positive, expect positive things to come through from this. I'm getting, um, everyone is, everyone who's watching this, I'm literally getting everyone who's watching this, I'm feeling like he's starting a new job, starting something new like a hobby, like something new that's going to open your learning capabilities, so you're going to learn something new. This could also be learning something new about yourself as well, it could, it doesn't have to be a job, it, it's like a, a new, how do I explain this, like, in a word, exploration, like a new adventure is, you're taking on, like a new, yeah, I can see you like climbing a mountain and you kind of got to the top and you're looking out and you're just looking at all the possibilities that are going to come for you and there's just going to be so much. Like, it's making me like emotional. Like, it's making me like happy emotional. So, you guys have gone through a lot and I am, um, whoever is watching this and needs to hear this, um, I am very proud of your progress. The spirit wants me to tell you that I am very proud of your progress because I've gone through a lot uh, recently and I just feel like you need to hear that as well. So... There you go, you got a little message through there. So let's see what the overall energies that are coming for you in your emotional side. So we got the snake spirit. Oh my God, I literally was talking about a snake. That is so funny. Oh my God, I love it when that happens. Stuff like this really surprises me sometimes. I've only been new at doing this since January. This this stuff really makes me happy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Snake spirit, so 55. Yeah, and the number 55 makes me think of like the middle. So obviously in between um, one and 10, it makes me feel like you're in the middle and you're moving up, you're moving up um, in the numbers. And you got the Bieber Spirit, lay a solid foundation. So yeah, this is definitely with 55. Yeah, as I say, you're in the middle. So um, what does that mean? So you're, yeah, I'm getting like a really solid, as I say, before, before I got this card about solid foundation, I actually felt like a really solid rock. I'm, it's, I'm getting such weird like um, information like as in like I can't explain it to you on like a normal human level So say you've got like the number I'm getting number one and the number ten and five where it's right in the middle It's very very solid and very it's a very strong foundation. It's very solid. There's no movement as in like it's very very There's no way of moving it and it's really really good because it's just I'm, sh I'm seeing this since you'll be shedding your skin You're getting this really solid grounded energy and you're really finding your feet and i think this is amazing this is absolutely amazing also look out for number five and number six and looking for the repeating numbers of five and six uh, as in five 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 six 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 or five six five six that that sort of thing as i definitely feel like with the snake spirit and the beaver spirit you are as i say you're shedding this skin and it, you've got your building yourself up but it's not as um like a negative building up as in like oh god i've got to build myself up now it's like a happy kind of wow like i've made it this is this is what i'm here on this planet for like this is this is a transformational period that i've been waiting for for a really really long time and I really hope you kind of understand what I mean because I feel I can I can see a lot of you nodding your head. You've been waiting for a long time for this. Like I can see this clock ticking, and I'm getting this like tick 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 ding 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 ding. So you've kind of reached that point now where it's like starting anew, and it's it's just amazing. This energy is so good. I can't even explain to you. I'm definitely getting like plants and um, earthiness. So a lot of uh, you, I feel like are spending a lot of time outdoors which is really good and if you're not I feel like you need to spend more time outdoors yeah so now you're laying as I say now you're laying this solid foundation with the snake spirit it's very new to you so make sure that you're making sure to be grounded I don't actually think grounded is going to be a very bad thing for you as in like it's not going to be difficult for you to be grounded because I think it's going to be quite easy yeah just make sure this snake spirit and detoxification is right next to each other what I'm thinking is, as I say make sure you are taking time on yourself and you are taking time to embrace this new you, not judging it, and being really happy. Just, just, just embrace this new person, this new, just this new layer that I feel like you've needed to to strip this layer for such a long time. It's like dead skin. It's like you don't need it anymore because it's dead. You like you don't need it anymore. So let's see what we got. So we have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, this is the energy I'm feeling like is to do with the snake skin. 
and it's just shedding this crap that you don't need you have the eight of cups so you guys are going to be moving on to new emotional experiences that haven't satisfied you before the ten of swords is letting go release um at the end of the cycle so with this with this energy this is how you felt before emotionally and this is what you're going to be doing now you're going to be walking towards better experiences so can we just get another one i want to see if this is to do with a new relationship or not or is this just to do with something else right so i've got a feeling this is something to do with a new relationship and um, this could also be to do with a friendship or partnership in work uh the four of cups reminds me of calm like a calm energy and it's meditating on the past experiences you had and what you actually think you deserve and i definitely feel like you are in a place now where you are putting yourself first and you are embracing who you are and you're giving yourself permission to say no to anybody you don't feel like is going to is going to mess you around you're saying no to the f boys basically you're saying no to fuck boys and you are only accepting the good things and i can see actually some of you having a new relationship in in April, it could be, and I feel like a new offer of a very, very relationship. Can we get a card for that, please? Just to see, because I know a lot of you want to know about love. I know I do a lot of the time, so let's see. So you've got co-create with spirit. So I feel like you need to trust more in what spirit is telling you. Um, I definitely feel like you're going to get some signs about this person, if there is going to be someone coming in. I feel like some of you actually have somebody there already, and it's it's managing i'm getting managing time with this person so i'm feeling like ah right i feel like what i'm getting at is managing time is like not giving your not giving too much of your time to somebody who doesn't deserve it making sure you're managing your time in a way that is gonna well how, how do i say this i'm getting managing your time that isn't going to be detrimental to your health so i feel like a lot of you have suffered because of emotional past a lot of relationships you've been in or friendships have been detrimental on your health and this is because it's been taking so much emotional pain is to like get out of it and it's almost hurt your health and now I feel like you're really focusing on yourself and I feel like I can see you checking in with yourself a lot right you've got the knight of cups that's amazing this is definitely somebody who's coming in I'm getting the letter s and um, the name sam is coming through quite strong uh I'm getting like the name judy j the letter J, also from men as well. Um, so S, S for like Sam, Samantha. This could be a boy or a girl, and J for boy or a girl, and the letter D and P. Well, wow, that's a lot of letters, so hopefully it matches up somehow. Um, so yeah, Knight of Cups, definitely a relationship coming in for you guys, and yeah, I'm seeing some things that are really, really amazing. Do I need anything else? I feel like I need another card just to see if there's anything other. Anything else? Yeah, I definitely see you going on like a new adventure. A new adventure's coming in, definitely. Something's, something is going to change you, or you're changing, and it's just, I just feel like you're opening yourself up to so many new. It's not even like the word experiences isn't the right word. How do I say this? Opening themselves up to new emotional feelings. Wow, that's amazing. So you're you're opening yourself up to new emotions. That that's really really good. I'm talking like you're opening yourself up to love. You're opening yourself up to feeling things that you've never felt before. I feel like some of these emotions are very new to you, so I feel like a lot of you haven't been in the relationships that have really sustained or have been sustainable for you. And this is a time where it's really gonna be sustaining. Long-term relationships is definitely a big thing for you. Be honest with yourself. Yeah, that just concludes the whole reading for you guys. Definitely with the Knight of Cups, it's just be honest with yourself. As I say, what I said before is trusting in spirit and also to not let people i want to say not let people walk over you that's not really the right word what how, how do i say this not let people run your life yeah you run your life and that's it that's it that's the end of the reason <laughs> they didn't want me to say anything else you run your life that is what i feel like is april for you that's the quote for april so i really hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment down below please subscribe to my channel i'm amazed at how many subscribers we have it's absolutely amazing i love you guys so so much honestly this absolutely means the actual world to me i can't even explain so yeah if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below you can email me at victoria here to inspire or you can dm me on instagram and we can do a private reading together i'm going to be having a spring sale i think at some point so look out for that i'll be mentioning that probably in my next video um just seeing if i can get a deal in with you guys so you guys can get my readings for a little bit cheaper so thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon bye
Hello group number two, so let's see what you guys have. So I feel like with this crystal, you guys are coming into your your personality, you're letting your inside shine on the outside. And a lot of you I think have been working on your, I'm getting like colorful emotions. So I'm feeling like you guys have really been working on like chakras, um, Balancing yourself out and letting your true colours shine through. Um, letting your actual personality come through. Like your authentic, who you actually are personality. I'm seeing like a lot of rainbows inside. So all these different, all this personality is coming out I think in April. And I feel like you guys are letting that shine through. Right at the start of April and all the way through. If that makes sense. Uh, yeah, so a lot of transformative energy is going through. And that basically just sums it up. So let's see what you guys have for the month of April. So this is the bottom. Yep. Okay. So we have feeling safe, inner power, stand your ground, romantic partner, and peace of mind. So what I'm definitely getting for you is with the inner power, that's exactly what I was just saying with that crystal. Just the colours kind of really match up, like the blue and the blue, and like this green kind of pretty aqua energy and it's all about um letting this inner sparkle come out it's just letting yourself be who you are and not be affected by other people and i just burped <laughs> that's really gross i cut the burp out but i just burped so it's <laughs> i don't know if you need to know that but it's, it's a sign you're letting stuff out yes <laughs> okay so i'm feeling you guys are embracing like your fairy side is i'm getting like fairy kind of really pretty light energy very very lovely i love that feeling safe i feel like there's a f i'm getting like the image of a flame and there's a flame inside you that is starting to flicker and be acknowledged and is starting to grow and be a bigger flame. So before, I feel like before, all the past, all the past few years I'm getting, you've been this really, really small flame and you've not wanted to be out in the world, you've not wanted to be seen, you've not wanted people to see you. And now I feel like this flame is getting bigger and bigger. With this, this is quite a new energy I'm feeling for you. So what I'm getting is don't be so hard on yourself if things don't go the way you feel. I feel like a lot of you have anxiety in this pile and I can really relate to this energy. It's kind of like a buzzy kind of, <clears throat> a buzzy like twitchy energy. Like something is just kind of sparking. I can get in a spark. So something is igniting in you and it's, um, it's just gonna set off and it's just gonna be amazing. So as I say, what I was gonna say is don't put yourself down if you have a day where you need to stay indoors, have a day where you need to rest um this energy is very new that's coming in in april for a lot of you guys for uh, the overall world is the overall energy so there's a lot of new energy that's coming in so don't um don't be too hard on yourself because a lot of this energy is new and you are becoming who you are and being authentic can come with a few um i won't say issues a few struggles sometimes when it comes to just embracing this new energy so they're telling me to go on to the next subject. Okay, I'm going. So the romantic partner, this is uh, Stand Your Ground is connected to romantic partner. So I feel like like part number, uh, like group number one is there's, a, there's an ex um, hovering around, I'm feeling like. They're kind of in the background. I'm, seeing, I'm feeling like in the back of my head. So they're kind of in the background. They're kind of sitting there. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe you're thinking about them or you're thinking about a new partner that's coming in. And I'm feeling like they're on your mind a lot. Someone's on your mind a lot. Um... But what I'm, I don't know what the peace of mind is. Is that to do with the right partner? Yeah, so what I'm feeling is, there. I feel like there's two sides to this this card. I'm feeling like stand your ground is to do with an X. And this is like the past and then the present is peace of mind. So what I'm feeling is you're moving on from an X um, or you could be thinking about an X or there's, or there's no X and basically you're thinking about a new partner. Um, this could be someone you already know or this could be someone that's gonna come, be coming in April um, May, June time. I'm getting like summer, more into the summer is when this person's gonna come in if you don't already know them. Uh, if you do know them, they're already here and you. I feel like you have peace of mind around this or you, yeah, I feel like this person makes you feel peaceful. Yeah, yeah, earthy energy. Very, very good, I like that. So the overall emotional energy for this group is for April is to trust in the magic. So 
it's to believe in the universe and to make sh and make sure you are checking in with yourself as well. How do you feel? How does this make me feel? And in, in any sort of situation, um, because the standing your ground is just making sure that you are embracing who you are and not being non-authentic. I don't know what the word is. So with trust in magic is this this inner power is coming through and it's the magic that you have inside of you and know that you have everything inside of you. I know a lot of people say this, but you actually do. Like you actually have all the answers with you and I feel like a lot of this is actually being sparked up as I'm getting this sparking, igniting sort of thing. Um, I'm getting like, I think an oil lamp is what I'm getting. It's like a, like a inside this like metal, um, like a lantern, you know the ones that they, like, in the olden days, we used to hold them. I'm getting like this little bit of string and you set it alight and you ignite it and you are like holding it and you're using that to light your pathway through April. Very, very deep, but that's just what I'm getting. Um, using your inner power for for your struggles, um, getting you through your struggles. Okay, that was interesting. Right, so for the overall energy, you've got the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So there's definitely a completion with a romantic partner. I definitely feel like, as I said, this isn't like an ex coming through. Um, so yeah, you're ready for a new relationship. A lot of you, yeah, a lot of you are nodding your head to this. So as a new partner coming in, someone with dark hair, I feel like. Um, also, if you want to know, this partner could have brown hair. Do you know what? It could have any sort of colour, obviously man or woman. I feel like this person could also like eccentric colours of their hair. I feel like they might dye their hair. Uh, yeah, so I feel like you guys are moving on. I feel like the money is going to start coming in if it's not coming in for you already. And you, I feel like you have, you're have you getting a better relationship with money is what I'm seeing. It's like a more wholesome relationship with money. I feel like it could be a bit of an issue with money in the past, but in now is... Yeah, money is very good for you. So with this, what is, what is this cups? Right, okay, so what's happening is, in the background, this is where you filled up your cups too much. Um, you're filling up your cup. Right. So I'm getting like other people's, everyone has a cup of emotions. I feel like you're pouring yourself, you're pouring your cup. This is somebody else's cup. I feel like you're pouring your emotions too much into somebody else and other people. And I feel like you're actually reeling that back now and you're observing all the times that you've done this and you're like, no, I don't need to do that anymore because this is my power, this is my inner power and I'm using this to drive myself forward and to manifest relationships that are gonna serve, serve? <laughs> it's gonna serve me. <laughs> don't know what that was. I feel like one of you may be Irish or something because I got a bit of like an accent there. That was really strange or like a Scottish accent. Don't know what that was or Northern, something like that. Yeah, um, I feel like we need some more cards. So let's see what this, what is this 10 of pentacles? So we've got the king of pentacles. So yeah, you're being very stable. I feel like a lot of you are opening new bank accounts as well uh, in money. A lot of you are opening new bank accounts, new savings accounts. You are saving up money for yourself. I feel like I'm definitely getting like a prominent energy that you're saving up money for yourself and not for anybody else. So you're take you're you're using your inner power to um, create things for yourself and not for anyone else. So we've got the three of pentacles. Let's just see what else we have for this. The Empress. So yeah, what I'm feeling is there could be like a third person coming through, like a third party kind of deal. I'm not sure what that is. If that resonates with you, then you might understand what I'm talking about to do with relationships right okay so I feel like in your relationships in the past you always felt like there was somebody better than you as in like when you were with somebody say you're in a relationship with somebody I feel like your ex could be looking at other people or they could just not be appreciating you I'm getting like two scenarios and getting one is you're scared they were gonna leave um, and number two is that they always had someone better so maybe they had like a, a friend who's a girl if they're a guy if they're a boyfriend they were an ex-boyfriend they had friends who were girls and you were kind of getting really insecure about it which is completely fine i'm not i'm really i'm really saying this in a judgy way but i'm really trying not to say it in a judgy way uh it's just coming out quite spiteful so i'm feeling yeah i'm getting this like spiteful energy like everyone's always there's always someone better than me there's always someone better than me is what i'm getting repeating in my head so now you are embracing who you are and you are just really coming into that feminine energy if you're a guy feminine energy will be coming in for you anyway there's this goddess 
kind of energy. Obviously, as I said, if you are a guy, it doesn't really matter with the sexes. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> both you've got the Empress and the King of Pentacles. So um, you've got this really kind of grounded energy around money and the Empress is coming in to tell you that emotionally things are going to start getting better if they haven't been too good. So yeah. I think we need one more card just for the overall emotional energy. Let's see. Whoa, that one popped out. Well, we got like loads. Okay. Uh, I'm also getting the sense of like rushing as well. So I feel like a lot of you maybe rushed into relationships in the past and now you're not going to do that anymore. So time to heal. So this is what uh, group number one got as well. So I look for out for six 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 five 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 that sort of thing. Six six five five. Yeah, so you are shedding this skin that's that's as old skin and you're embracing this new person who you are. And it's just amazing. It just feels so good. Fresh spring energy is what I'm getting for you. And it's, yeah, it's just shedding, shedding the old skin and just taking the time to heal, making sure that you are um, meditating, bringing yourself back into your body, grounding yourself and yeah, yeah, just being with nature and to embracing new things that come up as well and to not block them and to let them go through and just be, be kind to yourself that is what i'm getting is a statement for the energy for april is just to be kind to yourself because you're doing really really well so thank you for watching guys if this resonated with you please comment down below let me know i'd love to know it just makes my day uh, if you would like to subscribe to this channel please subscribe uh, my name is the crystal girl thank you so much for being here if you would like a private reading uh, the link is down below you can email me or you can message me on instagram i am thinking about setting up a website so please comment down below if that would if that's easier for you guys to do that if you'd like to book a private reading i know it can be a bit complicated booking private readings sometimes so yeah so please feel free to do that i'm looking into getting a spring sale so if you subscribe then you'll get notified when I upload and I'll be talking about my spring sale at some point. So thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for being here and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye. Okay, group number three. Right, so the energy I got for you is I feel like time is running out for you. Um, don't worry, it's not um, because it's actually flowing really, really well for you. I feel like you've just got a little bit more time before you get what you are manifesting. I'm getting like an extra two weeks into the middle of April. So I feel like a lot of these things that I might be saying might happen in the middle of April rather than at the start. Just letting you know, that's what I'm getting. Because my my, cam my battery is dying on my camera and that's kind of what I was feeling as well. Um, it's also, I'm feeling like you're getting this slow energy, very, very slow kind of elephant energy. Kind of slow, steady energy is what I'm getting. So it's not negative, it's just slow and steady. So be gentle with yourself. And let's see what you guys got for group number three. So for group number three, you guys got parenting and children, dreams coming true, honouring your true feelings, beauty and inner child. So I definitely feel like there's a lot of um, inner, like, child, what am I trying to say? Previous child energy, like your inner child is coming through. I feel like you need to take time on yourself. Like, okay, this is what I'm getting is... There's a lot of emotions coming up. Um, I'm feeling like very stagnant energy, very like, I'll say, slow elephant kind of energy. So I'm getting like, just be gentle with yourself through this process. You're letting go of a lot of stuff. I feel like in group one and two, I feel like they already have let go of things and they're already kind of moving through. Um, I feel like you guys are just a little bit behind, which is fine, which is why everyone goes through their process at different times. I feel like because you've got a massive bulk of, um, I wanna say crap, <laughs> you've got like a bulk of crap that's coming through, like a bulk of previous energy that's coming through that needs to be come out and getting like it's bleh, like it's bleh <laughs> kind of energy, like it's kind of like bleh, get it out. Um, a lot of this is to do with your childhood and this is some really, really deep stuff. So make sure you're honoring these feelings and letting them flow and not, and making them more stagnant really embrace them i'm really getting like an elephant energy like a really kind of like almost like stubborn like no i don't want to let go of these energies because i don't want to let go of these emotions because they feel safe they feel comfortable when actually it's like you're comfortable in the uncomfortableness so when when you get too comfortable in your uncomfortableness it can be very uncomfortable to let it go but it's worth it it's worth all the crying it's worth the heartache all this stuff because once you let go and you honor those feelings, there's gonna be a lot of things that are gonna come through for you. And a lot of them are gonna be very, very stable 
a lot of this is going to be very stable all this energy it's just like i feel like you're kind of walking up to a gate and it's just like a really really slow dragging your feet kind of thing but once you get up to the gate and open it all of this stuff is just going to go flying through so i feel like as i say i feel like this is going to be more towards the middle of the month where the dream's coming true the stuff is going to start manifesting if it hasn't manifested for you already i feel like just a lot of this previous energy is still lurking i'm getting like black kind of murky slimy water i feel like you're still in that and it's making sure that you are taking care of yourself also i feel like a lot of you have been having a lot of issues with your if you have children have been having issues with your daughters and sons i'm getting like a hormonal change sort of thing is what i'm getting so maybe you're having doesn't have to be go through puberty or anything like that um they could be very very young they could always be like three years old but i'm getting this shift in energy so i feel like i'm getting like arguments as well so i feel like you guys could be clashing i'm getting this kind of like clashing um so a lot of this slow stagnant energy is kind of affecting your relationships with your children could also be affecting your relationship with your parents or all your parents could be quite stubborn and it could also be kind of affecting your emotions uh that's kind of what i'm getting is this clashing of rocks i'm getting like this rocky water and all the rocks are kind of clashing against like clashing against the yeah the, the rocks are clashing no the water is clashing against the rocks it's like this ch -ch -ch, kind of like all oh, like really pushing energy so don't push i know oh my god i'm getting like a lot of views like it's so just get it out get it out get it out get it out it's kind of like an overdue baby is what i'm getting obviously a lot of you are very young who are watching this so just imagine yourself with like a watermelon baby like a really heavy thing you just need to like push out that is what i'm getting this energy is like pushing it's just pushing push 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 and then it's going to suddenly click um in the middle of yeah in the middle of april yeah i'm getting this like really slimy kind of like blip i've never noticed that this frog is in here i feel like um <laughs> i'm getting like the image of like a really slimy frog and um you're almost waiting for this frog to become a prince <laughs> which is really strange but it's like um yeah i feel like this from a slimy frog to a prince metaphor is either is either your life going from slimy crappy to happy happy <laughs> or it could be um a, a relationship i feel like you're um in the middle of a relationship or um, in the middle of um a situation with a with a with a, per, with a person uh, and i don't think you're together you could be together i feel like it could be an, okay there's quite a few scenarios coming through um one of the scenarios is um you could have a partnership um husband wife or boyfriend and girlfriend you could have um you could be not really talking as much or you could have and i have had a really quite a big argument and it's just recovering from that and once that is going to go through by the way that's not going to be lasting very long getting like three to four days it's not going to last very long but it's going to be quite murky and i feel like it's going to actually help you click into that new smooth energy um this could actually be for a reason why you are arguing with somebody i'm getting like as they're arguing with children um your children um parents you could be arguing with your parents you could also yeah the other option for arguing with oh okay right you could be waiting on a partnership to form as well feeling like it's kind of like stagnant energy waiting for a partnership to form so you know somebody you want to get with them but you're always waiting for an answer from them what i'm getting yeah i'm getting like x factor so like i'm getting this x factor kind of thing and yeah i don't know what this is it's like you're waiting for the person to come in so you can almost like say yes or no to them so this could also be thinking about an option is it you could be thinking about going to a relationship with somebody somebody said that they kind of want to move something forward and you're not sure or it could be the other way around and you could be waiting on somebody to give you an answer okay so let's see what we have so honoring your true feelings you have the ace of swords and the king of swords wow so there's a lot of energy fast moving and so this is definitely more towards the middle of april is what i'm getting and this king of swords energy is you are i feel working on your emotional side and your physical side so you could be focusing on what makes you feel beautiful what makes you feel comfortable in your own skin um changing up your wardrobe i feel like some of you could be, could be decluttering as well and with the ace of swords is a new opportunity in love 
and emotional stability and relationships and all that new stuff. <laughs> I'm not sure where that was going, but that's what I got. That is literally what I said is what I got. That is what they're telling me to do. They're telling me to move on. So let spirit be your guide. Yeah, so I definitely feel like you're going through quite a... I'm getting like a tormented energy. I feel like you're, you, you, I feel like you're feeling tormented by it by the universe and look for signs the signs are going to come through um number three and number two is going to be quite prominent for you i'm not sure what this is actually about because i'm not sure there's actually going to be a particular energy let's have a look 32 are you noticing red flags? Perhaps saying to yourself, oh, what pretty flags? And then giving them no more thought. Hawk Spirit has arrived to tell you to stop and listen to the messages from Spirit. Take the time to observe the patterns you are seeing and do not dismiss your intuition, even if the messages you received are not supported by evidence in the physical world. If it feels illogical to listen right now, listen anyway. Sometimes you might want certain signs and messages to mean what you want them to mean. Interpreting through the lens of wishful thinking, a projection of your desire to see things a certain way. Of course, when you do that, you rarely find yourself where you want to be. Take heart. Spirit loves you so much and does not want you to get hurt, but to align with Spirit's plan for your highest good. Listen and follow the signs and check your motives when you're being selective with your hearing. Right, this is perfect. This is exactly the energy of what I'm feeling. It's almost like stubborn energy. I feel like a lot of you are actually creating this yourself. And I, I feel really mean saying this, but this is what I'm, I'm feeling is... A lot of you are very stuck and I feel like this is going to move. Just really focus on what you want. What do you want and what is this going to create? What, what does this mean? So I'm getting like, what do you actually want? Is what you want actually lining up to actually what you need? Um, so say if you want a relationship, I'm getting. So what does, this, what does this mean? Tell me what this means. So I'm getting like, if you want a relationship, it's focusing on the things that you actually want out of a relationship and noticing what, what has happened in the past that has caused your relationships to be stagnant or unfair to you. And it's noticing these patterns. What is actually going to help you to bring these things into fruition? I'm not sure what this means. I'm sorry, I really am not getting a clear message at the moment. What do you want me to say? The signs are there. You have everything inside of you. Dig deep and don't be scared of your demons. Don't be scared to do, dig deep. And this stagnant energy is here for a reason. And let it move through. Stop ignoring the signs. Stop ignoring your subconscious mind. Stop ignoring your intuition right so there's a lot of i feel like you're getting a lot of messages through and you're almost ignoring them saying that doesn't mean anything i don't need that yeah it's like a very stagnant energy yeah but if you don't ignore the signs don't ignore your intuition of what it's actually telling you and the thing is i'm getting so un i'm feeling so uncomfortable and drained so it's like i feel like so slow but it is it's gonna move i promise you it's going to move and i'm definitely feeling like in the middle of april it's all just gonna glide, glide through, and I'm feeling like you're gonna set, you're gonna soar, you're gonna soar. So once, once group three let this these emotions flow, and yeah, let these emotions go. What's gonna happen afterwards? What's gonna be the overall outcome? Lay a solid foundation. So once, once you have the energy coming through, once the energy starts flowing, you're gonna be laying down solid foundations for yourself. And cha I'm getting like the word challenges. But I'm not getting like um, unhappy challenges. They're going to be like new experiences for you. They're going to challenge you in a way that's going to like open your eyes to new experiences. This is all really, really good. New, I'm getting like um, very fiery energy. So if, if any of you are fire signs and you're going through this, then please let me know because I definitely feel like this is related to you. Yeah, so I definitely feel like you're gonna leap and your ideas are gonna come through. Um if you are if you have been stuck in work in um relationships, that's not gonna that's not gonna be anymore. 
it's like I feel like it's kind of like it's like a wave so I definitely feel like you're kind of you're slowly going up like a roller coaster where you go up 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 and it's like oh and then you're gonna start going through so just let this move through and if things come up that you're not comfortable if things come up that you're not comfortable emotionally just let it let it flow let it go through you um if you need time alone let yourself have time alone um and definitely feel like kids kids are very prominent in this reading so if you have kids make sure you're taking time away from your children and um giving yourself time to heal and be patient it's going to be okay i'm sending you a massive hug because i feel like you guys need it for this reading uh but yeah uh, I'm seeing like a relationship coming through, I'm seeing money coming through. It's all there for you, it just let it go through. Okay, cool. Summertime is going to be really good for jobs as well. It's going to be really good for money, that sort of thing. Uh, also starting a new business around summertime, it's going to be really good for you also. A bit further in the future than April, but yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you would like to book a private reading with me, um, please feel free to um, email me. I'm also thinking about getting a website as well. I'm also going to be doing a spring sale. So if that is my description box has been updated, then check that out. If not, then I'll, I'm thinking about doing a spring sale um, and that will be updated in the next video. Thank you so much for being patient with me. If you would like to subscribe, please feel free to subscribe. Also comment down below if this resonated with you. I love to hear what you guys think and i will see you all very very soon bye so we're on to the last group group number four hi guys so what i want to say for you guys is you guys i feel like are going to get the best reading i haven't actually seen these cards no idea what they are but every time i shuffled for you i was like holy crap you guys are going to be so good <laughs> it's like oh my god i'm getting like it's like massive like wow kind of feel like whoa and this this color i feel like is you're letting your emotions flow things are flowing so good for you in april and i feel like you guys really deserve it i'm getting this like massive like deserving feeling like woo. yeah i feel like spirit is clapping you so let's see what is gonna go on for you so yeah i definitely feel like spirit is clapping for you yeah Okay, is this the bottom or is this the bottom? No, this, this is the bottom. Okay, so, yep. So you have sexuality, kindness, visualisation, look inside yourself and new location. Right, let's have a looky. Yep, you guys have a really good reading. You guys have got so much flow going on. You guys are just flowing. Um, I'm seeing new people coming into your life, new friendships, a new relationship if you are looking for that. And money is very... I feel like money is almost like falling into your bank account. So, yeah, a new location. So this could also mean a new relationship, I'm feeling like. A new location has never meant a relationship to me. This card has never meant a relationship. But I really do feel like it. Do you know what? I feel like new location actually means like a new location of being. I don't know how to explain it. What does this mean? It means that you guys are going to be coming into your own. You guys are going to be coming into new experiences that are going to be, yeah, bringing into you into a new location in your life. So not a physical location. Some of you can be a physical location. It can be moving. You could also be moving in with a partner if you are with them. But for you who are, definitely for you guys who are single especially, you have been working on yourself very much so and... I feel like you are transforming into this gorgeous butterfly. You are this butterfly and I feel like you are just embracing who you are and I feel like you're going to meet somebody who's going to make you feel so in the flow. Just smooth sailing is what I'm getting. Do you know what? Before I draw anything else, I really would like a, a, a card for the new location. Is this it? Nine of Swords four of pentacles right so i feel like you guys have had a lot of money issues in the past and now you're coming into a very stable foundation so as i say yes a lot of you are saving up to move some of you are actually moving in the month of april and i'm getting like a flat is what i'm getting so a very solid foundation some of you could be moving into a flat um seeing some of you could be moving into a house i'm getting like engagements that sort of thing Moving, I'm getting like the song, moving on, moving on, and I'm trying to break free, nothing can stop me. So I could really go into that song, I, I like that song. <laughs> that is kind of what I'm getting for you guys, is the foundation is really being set for you now. So let's see what cards you have. So, for the overall emotional energy, you have Know Your Worth, 
So it's making sure that when new things come in, when new people are coming in, it's making sure you don't forget that core value you have. I absolutely love this card. Every single time I, I, I get this card um, for myself or for somebody else, I'm always really happy for them because this is the exact energy that I want for you guys. This is the exact energy that I love because it's it's just it's just accepting yourself for who you are and it's not letting people budge you, it's not letting people move you and it's having a concrete foundation for yourself and it's knowing that you've worked on yourself and knowing that all this, all the work that you've been putting in into yourself it is all worth it and sometimes I feel like you have been questioning your work, you've been questioning is this worth it? A lot of different points. Um, you're actually questioning your own worth and you've been questioning is this worth it? Why am I here? But they're telling me that you've got a lot of aspects about your personality and about you, who you are, that's going to really benefit this world. Um, and I'm feeling like because you've been kind to yourself and because I feel like you're a very kind person anyway, you're going to be spreading kindness. I feel like now that you've been working on yourself, um, you're going to be able to give yourself more out to the world. So let's see. I'm not sure what is sexuality card. What is this? This is to do with relationships. This is to do with um, know your worth it's to um embracing who you are and if you are the sort of person that is quite a sexual person very expressive sexually i'm not really the reserve type it's 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 bringing that energy out and it's it's just embracing that for who you are and and i know i'm getting this like i'm getting some of you are nodding your head i'm kind of thinking hmm am i like that and it's it's just yeah i feel like you have this side of you that's really expressive and it's just letting that self be free and to not judge it Right, so this, is this is the bottom. So we've got Page of Swords, King of Cups, gorgeous, Wheel of Fortune, and High Priestess. So this is the one reading that I feel like is the most individual. You guys, I feel like, are um, apart from everybody else. I feel like this isn't really relating to a lot of readings because I'm actually matching the cards up to the actual cards. A lot of the time I just kind of read from overall. I feel like a lot of these are relating to the actual cards. So let's see what you have. So first of all, the High Priestess. Look inside yourself. Um, okay, you, the spirit wants me to go to here, go over here. So let's start over here. So <clears throat> you got the page of swords and sexuality. So I definitely feel like, I, yeah, yes, this is the exact um, energy that I was feeling. Is you're opening yourself up more to being who you are and not judging yourself for who you are. And it's you're going to be meeting people who are going to help you along in this journey. It's going to accept you for who you are, and it's not being afraid to be who you are and to express yourself in a way that people may judge you but you're thinking who gives a shit who who cares excuse my cursing but sometimes we've got to swear on this channel just to get it out <laughs> is to not give a shit basically so moving on Pay, uh, king of cups and you've got kindness so i definitely feel like you've been pouring your your emotions into yourself especially you've been pouring those emotions into your cup and you've been filling up your own cup before letting anyone else in i feel like there's somebody on the on the horizon definitely like right on the horizon so i feel like somebody you could be meeting in april somebody you actually know definitely a new person if you're single i feel like you could start a new friendship if you are in a partnership you could actually start a new friendship with somebody who's very very important to you you're setting the foundations and you are being kind to yourself as, as i say you're filling your your cut up and i feel like there could be a pisces around you there could also be a cancerian I'm not getting Scorpio and also any of the air signs I'm getting as well. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. If those are the air signs, if they're not, I apologise. <laughs> Sometimes things just don't come into my head when I'm doing these. So yeah, so I definitely feel like somebody's on the horizon. The King of Cups is definitely an energy that's very smooth sailing. Uh, okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is the middle energy. It's to do with know your worth and visualisation. So... Overall, I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is just the overall energy for you. It's like everything is coming together. All the aspects of your life is coming together. And so money, um, relationships, um, a strong foundation within yourself emotionally and your home foundation, it's all coming together. And all the aspects are really, really pulling through now. 2019 is, is going to be a year for you that's going to open yourself up to things that you really didn't think were going to happen you're going to be like, holy crap, wow, this is actually amazing. You're going to be sitting back like, damn, I did this. I made this happen because I've been working on myself and I've been making this stuff happen. So I definitely feel like I want to see what this relationship is about. I always want to know what people's relationships are because I always want to know this in um, readings. So is there anything else to do with the King of Cups? 
Letting go of exes is what I'm getting as well. Letting go of previous relationships. Okay. Right, so I actually got the hangman in reverse and I never I never choose reversals, but I definitely feel like I need to say this. This could also be the right way up as well. So it could be either way, but for those of you who feel like can relate to this, I feel like I need to tell you guys. With the hangman, this energy, sometimes I get positive and sometimes I get negative with the hangman. Now I'm getting positive, it's like you are freeing yourself. I feel like the hangman, this is who you were in the past few months, I think since starting 2019, this is where you've been, you've been kind of like, oh, okay, when is this going to happen, this is taking ages, where is it, where's all the new starts, oh my god, ugh, and now, it's like, I can see it all, it's all here now, it's, it's all here, and it's all inside of me, and I feel like I need to start singing, <laughs> I feel like a lot of songs are coming out of this reading, and you are seeing everything, very clearly now and you are releasing yourself from being actually hung up and, and thinking and debating and that sort of thing this this energy is moving now and you are seeing everything I also feel like for some of you who who don't feel as free who feel a bit trapped just keep meditating keep contemplating keep thinking about what you want because I feel like it's, it's all there it's all coming for you I feel like you just you will flip over into kind of being free. Um, but if you are feeling a bit um, stuck, a bit trapped, just be kind to yourself. And I know this was to do with a relationship. What is it? Why is this, why is this to do with a relationship? Right, you're not tied down anymore. If you're if you're if you've recently been in a relationship, you're not you are single and um, ready to mingle, and you haven't you're not tied down anymore. I'm also getting in. You're not tied down emotionally anymore. A lot of emotional baggage has been thrown away. Has been released and you are ready for this new relationship you're ready for new emotions you're ready to feel some really really fun stuff <laughs> all energy that was um that's heavy is all previous is in the past now so a lot of this is very very positive you guys are amazing i love you guys i feel like i want to uh, just get three more cards just to see what's going on so we got take a leap of faith parenting and children and queen of pentacles so i feel like some of you are thinking about starting a family uh, let's see if there's anything else that wants to come through. I feel like you are very, yeah, you're very stable uh, financially or you're going to be very stable financially and emotionally. You're already taking care of yourself and you are like becoming like a queen and you're taking a leap of faith. And I feel like if you are feeling a little bit uneasy, make sure you just contemplate, take that time to meditate and contemplate on what you want. Don't rush into things because I feel like there is, I'm getting the words, there's no rush because you don't need to rush. There's no reason for you to rush because you you have the time take the time and it's fine for you to be in this position let's just get a card for the overall energy so i got the overall energy we got be at home and see the big picture so make sure you're getting out make sure you're um going on walks as well and be at home as i say you are experiencing some really intense stuff which is going to be really really happy i feel like a lot of you're going to have like house parties and stuff and I feel like there's a lot of solid foundations going on. And number four is going to be really prominent for you. If your life path number is number four, then I definitely feel like this reading is resonating for you or is for you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If this resonated with you, please comment down below. I love hearing your, I love reading your comments. I love you guys so, so much. If you'd like to subscribe, please feel free. I Just join, join my channel, join the tribe. I, I love you so much, guys. Honestly, all your support is honestly meaning the entire world to me. And I... I love you guys so much and I almost feel guilty for like not uploading this week but I've been going through so much stuff I physically couldn't do readings because I just I just couldn't it was just too much emotionally so I really hope that you guys have a good April and I'll be coming to you for another video very very soon it won't be in a week it'll be less than that <laughs> it'll be a few days there will be links down below for my email if you'd like to book a private reading and I'm also looking into getting a spring sale moving through for this month as well so if you guys want to have a reading then look out for a spring sale also yeah also also uh direct message me on instagram or email me if you work at our reading so thank you so much for being here and i'll see you very very soon bye guys